Hi everybody. So today I'm going to actually do a little unboxing. Um, I am trying out Sip Spy and this is the first box I got from them. It's not going to be a review video of any of the teas in here. However, if you would like to know my thoughts on any of the teas, you can, you know, comment below or follow me on Instagram. I might post there that I'm drinking one of these cups of tea. But so the how Sips by works is you get to actually design a profile and kind of pick and choose what would fit for you tea wise so it, it's very very customized um, I'm going to show you at least how I think how customized it is in the box and they do ask you quite a bit of questions I believe on there too they even asked if I was vegan which I appreciated I'm editing this video right now and I'm actually going to retake my quiz, but I think it's the same quiz you get um, when you start it off. So I'm just going to retake it to show you how the quiz works. So first I ask you if it's caffeine free or caffeinated, um, and it's actually on a scale, which I appreciated a lot, especially right now as I'm slowly adding caffeinated peas back into my everyday life. So I think I put mostly caffeine free before but I'm actually going to go in the middle now is what I'm going to do and from there on um and then here is loose or bagged um they do come with disposable tea bags I'm going to show you later but if you just you know really really just want loose tea because you don't want you, you know extra bags or whatever um and you have a way to steep it or you're going to use the bags that they provide then you go this way if you prefer bag because you don't want to deal with loose leaf, which I understand completely, you can go there. But I'm actually going to change it to, um, I want to experiment more with loose teas. So I'm going to actually change that to it too. I think before I had it, probably a three or four, I couldn't remember. And then uh, unflavored or flavored. Um, I'm going to go actually a mix of both because I am very big on like flavor flavor. It's kind of hard for me. I'm just going to go for it and see what it is. I kind of like that they let you change it every now and then, but I'm just going to keep going to show you the questions. Now here, I am not going to go all these questions, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to give you an overview, and then I'm probably going to speed this up because I don't want you watching this video forever. So I'm just going to do it. Okay, so I'm just going to go over what I just did. Um, I, I, you get to choose yes, maybe, or no between all of these categories. Now you're going to see my flavor profile that I feel right now anyway. Um, I don't like berry stuff. You're going to see one berry came in. I haven't actually tried it yet, but I actually, I just don't want any more of it right now. So, <laughs> um, nothing against that one. Cause I haven't tried it yet. I just decided I'm like, let me, let me like tighten this up a little better. So this is my profile. I'll go a little slower for you here. And yeah, and I'm in love with Earl Grey. So I forgot that was a question the first time around. I think I hadn't started to drink Earl Grey yet. So I am I just went all the way. Yes, I think before I had it, I was maybe. For this next area, we get to pick what types of tea. Now I'm going to go ahead and do it. And then I'll just slowly, do, you know, if you want to see what I like. But here are the different types. And there's some, if you don't know what some are, just honestly Google it, like literally just copy this, or if you don't know how and you're on Chrome or something, you can put search Google. <laughs> so if you don't know what those are, you can do that. Um, I think I looked them up last time, so I'm still kind of familiar with what everything is. So this is mine. You know, I like the little tea bag. Just throw it in and go. I do have other ways to steep it, but I'm just going to go ahead with this one. How often do I drink tea? Now it's like every day. I wouldn't say my blood type is tea because I'm not that like into different teas, but I'm going to put regularly because I've been drinking tea every day now. I think when I first did it, I put I'm new to tea, I think. Um, this is what I really appreciated for multiple reasons. So I put vegan, of course. I'm not, I don't have a version to sugar um, or stevia, but I know some people do, and I know, you know, gluten-free as well. So I really like that they included this. And then for food allergies, I'm going to put 
oh, let me get to that in a second. Um, I just want to stop here for a second because I really appreciate that they have this herbs that interact with SSRIs. If you take those, there are a lot that do interact with it. So I think that's really, really inclusive of them to do that. Um, and they're realizing that. The only problem I have with this is they have peanuts and tree nuts, which in majority I am not allergic to, but there is one type of nut I am allergic to, but it's very mild. So I'm going to leave it alone um, because normally it says what kind of nuts are in them typically. So I'm going to leave that alone for now. If I start getting them that are, you know, they have that one tree nut that I have a problem with, then I might come back and change it. And this I really like too, because there's other specific allergies that people tend to be allergic to. I am allergic to avocado. So I'm going to put that. I'm not allergic to anything else. Oh, I, actually I did kiwi last time. I'm mildly allergic to kiwi, but extremely allergic to avocado. Um, and then for other things, I'm just going to put, even though I already put vegan, I'm just terrified that they're going to give me something that has something I don't want to take. So I'm going to put all of that in because technically when I do eat that, I am not going to have a good day. They ask birthday. So as I said, I was retaking the survey. When you take it the first time, um, it's going to be on your account. It's probably going to give a little different message here, but they're just going to basically take it into account, which I think actually you get the same message now that I read it. Um, they take into account when preparing your future boxes. So I'm just going to go with what I actually got in this round. Um, so the box comes, it's about this big. I don't know if that shows you anything. <laughs> um, and it comes with your, you know, at the top of it, or it might be at the bottom. I don't know if I put it at the bottom myself. Comes with a little piece of paper. Um, and at the back, it says, made for Christine, which I appreciate it. And also, um, actually down here, it has my last name too. Um, so it was pretty customized for me. Um, I'm sure, you know, they have some sort of algorithm kind of group everybody together, because that would be exhausting to try to get all that right. But um, this specific one that they made was based off of my um, like profile intake form that they had. And it says, oh, they even said happy fall. I, I missed that when I first opened it. I was just so excited yesterday. And I was like, oh, no, I need to do an unboxing. Um, so I have Magic Potion. Let me try to grab which one that is. Oh, I remember. I remember reading about this one. So this is the magic potion one. Um, all of mine are caffeine free because I did get a caffeine free box. I am uh, experimenting adding caffeine back, um, but I wanted to make sure I had a lot more caffeine free options since I already know what which caffeine um, tea doesn't really like trigger like a heart issue or a migraine issue or anything. I've been drinking Earl Grey which I love. <laughs> I never thought I would like Earl Grey. I know I love Earl Grey chocolate chip cookies. If you haven't tried those, you need to try those. Um, but I never thought I would like the tea and now I feel like I have to drink it every day. I do have a mixture of caffeine, caffeinated <laughs> Earl Grey, as well as decaffeinated Earl Grey. So I alternate them so I don't get hung up on caffeine because I really just love the taste. I don't really need the caffeine. Um, but with that said, this magic potion, as I mentioned, caffeine free. Um, now it actually says one teaspoon per eight ounces of water, and I don't actually know how many teaspoons are in here because it's a whole packet. So you're not just getting a little bit to try, you're getting a good amount, I would say, almost of each of these to try. So you can see if you really like them, then you can buy the product. So this one has a little effect of changing colors. It actually says to add a squeeze of lemon and this will change from indigo to violet. Um, and it's because of the butter pea flower. I've never tried that before. Um, but you know, they all come with codes specific to sips um, that you can buy, you know, this if you do like it. Now I'm not sure personally how I would like this because I kind of do like more savory things. I like adding vanilla or hazelnut creamer or something like that. I get this silk creamer, those are my favorite. Um, but every now and then I know I should be, you know, having something a little less processed and not with a creamer in it. So it's a good idea to have these type. I just know I won't reach for it as often. Um, but you know, 
this this honestly would probably end up on my Instagram because if it changes color, I mean, that's good to record. <laughs> uh, the next one, I'm actually kind of worried about this one. Um, this is Ticino, and I experimented with Ticino a few years ago when I was trying to get off of coffee. Now I'm off of coffee. Whatever. Um, but I do remember there was a few of them I couldn't drink because they're like a very nut-based type of tea. It's an herbal coffee, technically. Um, this one's a mocha. I can't remember if I had a problem with this one or the French vanilla, but I feel like I had a problem with one of them. Um, and the only nut that gives me that reaction that I had is Brazil nut. I did reach out to the company and they said that, you know, I can't remember exactly. It was more or less, they don't know if there's Brazil nut in there or how much Brazil nut there may be. Um, this, they don't say it. I think one of them actually said, like, mixture of nuts or something like that. This one doesn't say it at all. So I'm thinking I may have been okay with mocha. I just didn't go for it because I'm a French vanilla, vanilla creamer type of person. Um, but every now and then I do love a mocha, especially when I'm craving chocolate. Now this one doesn't have straight out chocolate, but it does have cocoa powder. Not cacao powder, but cocoa powder is based on carob, um, which is not good by itself, but it's pretty good when you mix it correctly. Um, it has dates in it to sweeten it. It does have a flavor in there, but it says natural. Um, and this has figs and almonds. So I do want to try this because I think I've tried it before. I just normally don't reach for it. I didn't want to buy a whole pack, so I'm kind of glad I have this whole one because this should give a few servings. Oh, three servings. So this has three you can have three different teas with this. So it could give me a chance to see, you know, if I react to it and if I like it. Um, the next one. Oh, I was actually excited about this one, which is also a conundrum of my life. This is a Robios, Robios, Robios. I always say that wrong. I add a letter. Anyway, and cinnamon. Uh, I don't like cinnamon. But I do kind of like cinnamon in my hot drinks or teas. So sometimes I'll even find myself adding cinnamon to something because I'm looking for kind of like a chai flavor or just a an spice flavor, I would say. So I'm actually very curious to see if I'll like this. And then for this one, it comes with four different ones you can try. So I will definitely try one. Um, I think Jason might try one too because he likes cinnamon things. And I don't, I'm kind of, kind of trying to get him to drink tea for some reason. Um, so there's enough for at least him to try one. And three for me or two for him. So that's kind of good because then we can see if we like it. Um, and I think this company actually put a little thing in here. Tichu did, Tichino did too, but this one had a little card in here. They have black teas, fruit teas, green teas, herbal infusion, and um, I believe they're from, it doesn't actually say, oh, it says London on the top of it, hello. Um, so they're a fourth generation, you know, they want to do the best qualities, and then they also give back to schools, hospitals, clean water, and orphanages. So I do love a company that gives back. Um, so that was that one. The next thing, it's not the next thing I'm going to show you yet, but this one when I got, because you can see what, what teas are kind of coming to you, I think. I knew I was getting this one. I can't remember. I probably did know those, but I kind of zeroed in on this one. Um, this is candied pistachio. I really don't like pistachio, <laughs> like at all. Um, so this is probably going to be all for Jason, honestly, probably. I will maybe try it out of his cup, but... He likes pistachios, not me. I don't like pistachio flavored anything. Um, but let me see. It has dates in it. It has pistachios, almonds, rose petals, and then other flavoring. So on here, it doesn't give you the directions, but on here it does. So you do need both of these. This one says one teaspoon per eight ounces. And I feel like there's probably a few servings in here. At least three, if not more. It's a little flat, but... A teaspoon's pretty small. 
So it does have a few ties in there, um, which is good. Now, if you're wondering about these loose ones, uh, the Ticino especially in this, and then any other loose tees you happen to get in there. What's nice with that, even though I do have, oh, where is it? I do have um, my own little steepers. <laughs> just got them they're so cute I have a green one and this purple one and it's a little like Nessie it just sits at the bottom of the glass um I can probably show you what it looks like out of a mug but you just pop that open and you put in loose tea so I already had these um because I have some loose teas that have been kind of stacking up on me that I wasn't drinking um especially one that I got from goddess provision box I tried this the other day it was so good um I really do enjoy that one but so if you want to see what this looks like with my mug that I've been drinking out all day, so you kind of just drop in the little Nessie, let the little bubbles fly out, and it kind of just pokes out there, which is so cute. <laughs> but yeah, so I already have this. But if you don't have it and you're just barely starting out with your tea collection, or maybe you just don't have one of these, you can't find it, and you really want to try the tea, I do appreciate that they give reusable muslin cloth just, um, tea bag. But there's more to this. So this is a reusable bag you can use, um, according to Jason, because he knows more about fabrics than I do. Um, this will get stained, which is fine. That won't bother me. Um, if something's clean, but it's a different color, it's fine. I might actually um, want to see what, it oh, I had this one, but this loose one, because this changes like to purple, so it might stain it purple, which would be kind of funny. Um, so you can go ahead and use this and it's reusable um just toss it in to wash or hand wash it whichever way you would prefer to wash it but inside if you either don't want to use this option or you know you're brewing two cups of tea at a time whatever they give you um i believe these are biodegradable possibly hopefully um they feel like they should be i don't know what that means but um you have one let me count so you have six of them and it looks like a you know pretty standard tea bag I'm trying to get the there it is inside it has little sips by i don't know if all of them have that they don't only one of them does which is fine i don't really care about the little paper that comes with it so it has the you know you just put the loose leaf and loose leaf tea in there and you dump it in like you normally do now the ones that don't have the sit by is just a regular, you know, without a little paper at the end. So you just pull it the way you need to. Um, and so I do appreciate that because now I have options that are all either reusable or I believe these biodegrade. I hope they do. Um, and then I have my own, <laughs> my own little Nessie, which is cute. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to try all these teas, especially because I mean, I can't really say yet that it's getting any colder here. It's gotten a little colder. It's very windy today. It, I thought it, when I checked how hot it was or whatever, it was still about 80 degrees. But sometimes in at night, you know, when things cool down and maybe I'm having a fan running, I do want to get cozy. So I normally drink tea. Actually, lately I've been drinking it any time of the day. But when I started, I only drank tea at night. I had like a, a nice little chai or something. And then when I was experimenting with caffeine, obviously I don't want to drink that at night, I started drinking in the morning. So now I'm actually craving something hot every morning. So that's what I've been doing. And sometimes in the middle of the day, if I ever want an actual pick-me-up, um, because even though these don't have caffeine, they do have nutrients in them that will give you different benefits. So it's not that they don't do anything. They all have their own reasonings and their own benefits to them. But sometimes... I want a, an actual like purposeful wake me up or like kind of pick me up I mean or maybe I actually you know just want something warm and something you know soothing in the middle of the day especially if I'm having a long day uh, but yeah if you guys have any questions regarding any of the teas in here um, if I don't know the answer then you just motivated me to drink the tea and answer you <laughs> but I can't promise on the pistachio because I don't like pistachio I just want to show you how this looks like you get to actually rate them so they know kind of what's going on with you, I believe. Yeah, to enhance your future matches. So that's really like awesome. I really like that. And I'll come back and you know rate them as I go. So I hope you enjoyed this semi-short video of me rambling about my tea adventure. <laughs> and uh, hopefully the next video, um, when I get to it, I did get a new Oracle deck. 
and it's a self-care one by Goddess Provisions. But I kind of want to not do a video just based on that deck. I might actually do like a little tour of all of my decks, including my tarot. I have three oracle decks and one tarot deck. And I use them all for different reasons. So I'm thinking of making a video on that because I think that's where I want to go with this. But yeah, I, I really hope you have a great day at whatever point of the day you're watching this. If you know this inspired you to drink some tea, let me know down below where you're drinking. I'd love to see what other teas are out, are out there while I'm exploring this. <laughs> and you have a great rest of the day, a rest of the night, and I will see you later.